Hello, my friend, and welcome to Wisdom Trek. I am Guthrie Chamberlain, your guide to wisdom and creating a living legacy. Thank you for joining us for our five-day-per-week wisdom and legacy-building podcast. This is day 824 of our trek, and it is time for Meditation Monday. Taking time to relax, refocus, and reprioritize our lives is crucial in order to create a living legacy. For some, it may just be a time alone for quiet reflection. Some may utilize structured meditation practices. In my life, meditation includes reading and reflecting on God's Word and in prayer. It is time to renew my mind, refocus on what is most important, and making sure that I am nurturing my soul, mind, and body. As you come along with me on our trek each Meditation Monday, it is my hope and prayer that you too will experience the time of reflection and renewing of your mind. We are broadcasting from our studios at the Big House in Marietta, Ohio. Fear is all around us. The news media and their commentators are constantly bombarding us with bad news. Politicians make us feel like the opposite political party is driving our country to the brink of destruction. Unfortunately, even well-meaning preachers and religious teachers focus on all the bad things that happen instead of the good. It is no wonder why our world is driven by fear and anxiety. In today's meditation, let us explore what Jesus taught about fear. We will learn to don't let fear intimidate you. People are afraid of many kinds of things. That is why one of the most frequent commands in scripture is do not be afraid. It is also a command that Jesus gave several times to his disciples. Fear is a real issue for people in our fallen world. The father sent Jesus to deal with fear and to defeat the power behind our fears. To defeat the devil, he uses sin and death to keep mortals enslaved to fear. The writer of Hebrew describes Jesus' role in defeating the devil and his power to use death to enslave us in fear. Hebrews chapter 2 verses 14 and 15. Because God's children are human beings made of flesh and blood, the Son also became flesh and blood. For only as a human could he die, and only by dying could he break the power of the devil who had the power of death. Only in this way could he set free all who have lived their lives as slaves to the fear of dying. In today's meditation, we are on a journey with Jesus to Jerusalem as we read from the Gospels in these devotionals. When Jesus' journey to Jerusalem is complete, he will have died for our sins, he will have been buried, and he will be raised from death to life to conquer hell, giving us a glorious life beyond death. The Apostle Paul says it this way in Romans chapter 7, verses 24 and 25. Oh, what a miserable person I am. Who will free me from this life that is dominated by sin and death? Thank God the answer is in Jesus Christ our Lord. You see how it is. In my mind, I really want to obey God's law, but because of my sinful nature, I am a slave to sin. And also in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 56 and 57. For sin is the sting that results in death, and the law gives sin its power. But thank God, he gives us victory over sin and death through our Lord Jesus Christ. The Father God is the only one that we should truly fear, but only if you are not his child. If you are a Christ follower, you are the Father's child. And when you are, then you don't need to fear him. You are more precious to the Father, Son, and the Spirit than you can ever imagine. The Father sent Jesus to save you at a great cost. He went to the cross to redeem you and destroy the devil's hold on you through fear. The Holy Spirit lives inside you to lead you, to comfort you, to empower you, and to transform you. Don't fear what might happen. Remember, Jesus has accomplished it for you. Remind yourself how much the Father loves you and delights in you. Ask the Holy Spirit to reveal His presence, to calm your heart, and to strengthen your faith. Then when people ignore, mistreat, ridicule, threaten, or even hurt you, you don't have to be afraid. Remember the promise that Jesus made to you as he discusses all the issues in the verses below. Before reading the scriptures, let me ask you these questions, though. What do you fear? Will you let Jesus help you with that fear? Will you let the Holy Spirit empower you and lead you from that fear? Will you let the Father remind you how precious you are to him? So now let's listen to Jesus' words of promise that Luke gives to help you to overcome fear in the face of hardship. And this is taken from Luke chapter 12, verses 1 through 12. Meanwhile, the crowds grew until thousands were milling around and stepping on each other. Jesus turned first to his disciples and warned them, Beware of the yeast of the Pharisees, their hypocrisy. 
The time is coming when everything that is covered up will be revealed, and all that is secret will be made known to all. Whatever you have said in the dark will be heard in the light, and whatever you have whispered behind closed doors will be shouted from the rooftops for all to hear. Dear friends, don't be afraid of those who want to kill the body. They cannot do any more to you after that. But I tell you whom to fear. Fear God, who has the power to kill you and then to throw you into hell. Yes, he is the one to fear. What is the price of five sparrows? Two copper coins? Yet God does not forget a single one of them. And the very hairs of your head are all numbered. So don't be afraid. You are far more valuable to God than a whole flock of sparrows. I tell you the truth. Everyone who acknowledges me publicly here on earth, the Son of Man will also acknowledge in the presence of God's angels. But everyone who denies me here on earth will be denied before God's angels. Anyone who speaks against the Son of Man can be forgiven, but anyone who blasphemes the Holy Spirit will not be forgiven. And when you are brought to trial in the synagogues and before the rulers and authorities, don't worry about how you will defend yourself or what to say, for the Holy Spirit will teach you at that time what needs to be said. Well, that will end our meditation for today. Next week, we will continue our track on Meditation Monday as we take time to reflect on what is most important in creating our living legacy. On tomorrow's track, we will explore another wisdom quote. This three-minute wisdom supplement will assist you on becoming healthy, wealthy, and wise each day. And thank you for joining me on this trek that we call life. Encourage your friends and family to join us and to come along with us tomorrow for another day of Wisdom Trek, Creating a Legacy. If you'd like to listen to and the past 823 daily treks or read the Wisdom Journal, they are all available at wisdom-trek.com. You can also subscribe at Apple Podcasts and Google Play so that each day's truck will be downloaded to you automatically. And thank you so much for allowing me to be your guide, your mentor, but most importantly, I am your friend as I serve you through the Wisdom Trek podcast and journal. And as we take this truck of life together, let us always live abundantly, love unconditionally, listen intentionally, learn continuously. Lend to others generously, lead with integrity, and then leave a living legacy each day. I am Guthrie Chamberlain, reminding you to keep moving forward, enjoy your journey, and then create a great day every day. See you tomorrow.